OK, let's get some hot tub ideas. At the cheaper end, there's inflatable ones. We might be able to find an old birthing pool if we're lucky. There's wood-fired ones, which might be a good idea for us. And at the top end, there's all singing, all dancing, 38 blower models, complete with LED lighting and built-in stereos. Whew. Whoa! My head's absolutely spinning. I'm even more confused. But we have a plan B. We're going to go see our mate Paul the Hot Tub Salesman for a bit of expert advice about what's out and about on the market. Good morning, Ben. Hello. Good to Good meet morning. you. Thank you very much. Thank you much, Paul. Well, there's no way we can afford 10 grand on a hot tub, let alone 50 quid. But, Shawnee and I have got an ace up our sleeve in the form of designer and inventor Gary Lavin. So we're going to go down to his workshop and see if we can make a hot tub from pretty much what's lying about. Shawnee! Could you get out the hot tub, please, sir? Gary? Oh, God. Oh, hey. Cheers. Well, how are you? What do you want now? How are you doing? Right, we're going to have a hot night tonight yeah, because yeah. Yeah. we've got two hot smoking babes coming around. Right. I'm with you all the way, mate. Right. So, we promised them a hot tub. We've got about what? 50, 50, 55 pounds. 50 pounds. <laughs> we want you to make us a hot tub. Yeah, well, I know where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. And you I do that. like to create the magic, don't yeah. I? But oh. it does depend on the stuff in the yard. Right, okay. okay. All right, I'll have a look. You go and get yourself all lathered up and I'll sort something out. Cool. Lathering time. Yeah, well, all right then. I'll see you later then. <laughs> Cheers, Gary. Thank you, Gary. I'll see you later. Right, Adios. Let's go. So, hot tub. What's that all about? Well, it's a container for the water. It's a heater, it's a filter, it's a pump, and it's a blower for the bubbles. Now, how do we put all those things together? Come and have a look. The water from the tub is pumped out via a filter which removes debris and adds chlorine to kill bacteria. The water then passes through a heater which brings it back up to temperature and then re-enters the pool via air blowers which give you that lovely massage effect. So that's how a hot tub actually works. So I'm going to go away now and sketch up a few ideas and after I've done that I'm going to go down the yard and see what bits and pieces we've got. Let's see what we've got over here. We've got sheets, really strong fabric. Now that's just giving me a bit of an idea. Right over there is our heater. This is an old radiator. This can, instead of heat coming out of the radiator, we can actually generate the heat within this by getting a fire underneath it. Instantly I've seen a plan. I happened to notice earlier, these. My final piece of the jigsaw. Right, there we are. Yeah, I'll just put that down there. Yeah, Let's have a look. look. I've got two favourites here. I've got yeah. the pyramid yeah. and, and the boat. The boat. You get a boat, an old fiberglass boat, we clean it out, we set it in the ground at an angle, we put some pebbles around it. Okay. Now this is my favourite really. I'm, uh, I must be some sort of hippie really, but <laughs> here's a, a pyramid, you know, a mystical shape and all that. But the good thing about it is, we use scaffolding, and I found some scaffolding. We put bracing points there, all the way to the water, which is hanging in a bag made out of flexible uh, plastic stuff, pulls it all together so it locks at the top. We've got a fire there in a little fireplace, pump, passing the water, hot water, into the tub. What's that? Well, that, uh, all right, don't criticise my drawing. That's a radiator from my kitchen, I'll have you know. <laughs> a, normal, a normal central heating radiator. Instead of it giving the heat out, we're putting heat in, and then it's been pumped round. So that's nice, but I really like the boat idea. Well, well I like the boat, except that we haven't got a boat. Well, I can get a boat. What kind of boat? Like a Sunseeker boat. <laughs> 200 grand a piece. Yeah. Well, if I get a smaller, big Sunseeker boat. They don't do them. No, I no, bet man. you they I'm calling Sunseeker. I'm getting a boat from Sunseekers. I'll see you later, lad. <laughs> They'll never get a boat. They'll never get a boat. They'll never get a boat. Good afternoon, Sunseeker. Hi, well, I'm looking for a boat. Okay. Gary's managed to get all the bits from his yard to build up his pyramid hot tub design. We're using scaffold poles to form the main sort of structure. This will support an old curtain side from a trailer which will hold the water. To heat the water, we'll use an old radiator suspended over a coal fire and then we'll pump the water through the radiator to heat it up. We won't put a filter on our hot tub as we're only using it for one night, but we'll drop a chlorine tablet into the water so the smoking babes don't catch a bug. Right, let's make our own. Right, now, job for you lads now. Yeah. Job for you lads. I want you to get some coal. See the wood's fire's going out now, so we need right, some coal. That'll like, give us a real good solid heat. So okay. off you go, go and get Let's some coal. It. You need that, Sean. Go Come on. up. Sean. Sean. Right. Sean. We need some help. We need some help. What do you do? <laughs> I've done it, Uncle Gal. What do you All want right. us to do next? All right. 
Well, a fire might have been nice. I mean, it's a little bit sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Dead. Get some twigs, Sean, while you're over there. Yeah. Whoa. With a grey plastic pipe, all you do is shove it in there, but then shove that one on the on the. Do I um? Couple. Do I? I shove it in. There.